Hi, I'm Jennifer Minster for SavannahNow.com, and in this edition of Local Music Now, we're talking with Tawny Ellis and Giovanni Loria. Well, Tawny, I'll kind of start and ask you, now you were born here in Savannah. I was born here in Savannah. And now both of y'all are live in L.A. now, right? Yeah. LA. <laughs> did, this, did the South have any kind of effect on your music? Completely, yeah. totally. Yeah. yeah. My dad, um, you know, my house was filled with, you know, rootsy country music, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Waylon Jennings and um, Merle Haggard and, <laughs> you know, Tammy Wynette. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I sort of journeyed away from all of that yeah. growing up, um, but you know, anytime one of those songs would come on or somebody would know it at a party or something, I knew I would know all the lyrics, would, mm -hmm. kind of, and I'd be like, how do I know that? Yeah. And it's like, well, I grew up with it. Mm -hmm. So um, this was my third album, and I decided um, to go more fully into that, oh. and um, it just felt really natural. It's so really awesome. part of the fabric of who I am, I yeah. think. And, to be received really well. Mm -hmm. The latest album is Evolve or Die. Actually. Evolve yeah. or Die. Evolve or Die. Tell us a little bit about that. You said it, it kind of goes a little bit back to your roots. Very true statement. Well, the music is very <laughs> rootsy. Um, you know, uh, different people hear different things. Mm -hmm. you know, um, we were just featured in uh, the weekly magazine here. And, and surprisingly enough, uh, because Daniel and was a huge and inspiration. I actually met him just recently. And, um, but I had not been aware really of this particular album, Wrecking Ball. I don't know how it slipped below my radar, but um, some people have said that it kind of does that. And yeah. Well, let me ask you, you know, you were kind of born here and you've worked way up and been, I, I think, very successful over the last few years. So any advice for young aspiring musicians? Don't be intimidated by the flooded market. Mm. Find your own voice. Yeah. Um, for very many years being in Los Angeles, and that's probably part of being sort of young and naive, and you know, people saw a talent in me, and record companies and whatnot would get a hold of me and they'd be like, oh, yeah, they would push me in a direction, and they would be like, because of whoever's hot. Mm -hmm. And um, She signed like an eight album record deal with like, Oh, at like 19 years old, Warner it was Brothers ridiculous. Yeah. But they, they wanted, wanted me to be like whoever was hot at the moment. And then... It's crazy stuff, you know. So, over the years, I've just learned, and, and, and the whole record company um, business, the music business has changed so much since then that I sort of, you know, I'm, I'm here and all of a sudden the record companies all merge and they all fall apart. Everybody I know who has a deal has lost their deal. and. Um, the independent world sort of took over, yeah. the internet and all those ways, and so we we went in that direction. Good. Instead of yeah. like um, conforming and being like, okay, we're going to be what they want us to be, um, we decided to find our own voices and take our own journey, and, and I really think that that's the most important thing that anybody can do. Um, otherwise, they're not going to be happy with what they're doing. You got to be yourself. Yeah. Don't um, have any websites or a schedule of upcoming shows or anything you want to mention? We're all over the South. We're on our way yeah. to um, Nashville. Oh, cool. We'll be in New Orleans and Austin and Dallas and awesome. Santa Fe. And so, um, yeah, go to the website. It's www.tawnyellis.com. It's T A W N Y E L L I S. Okay. And we're on iTunes and MySpace. MySpace. Yeah. Facebook is Tawny Ellis Music. Okay. On Facebook. 